Hey YouTube, I'm Ash Parp, and you know, apologies for this. I am tr currently traveling outside right now. Yes, I have left my apartment to go for a good walk, and well, this was recommended. I have to wear this whenever I go inside stores because I'm gonna pick up some stuff. Like, I already picked up a book right here that I pre ordered, and I gotta go to GameStop to pick up something, but that's not the most important. And, yeah, apologies for the hair being messy. It's it's hot here in Tennessee, so if you live in Tennessee, where I'm at, um, I hope you're staying hydrated. Like, yeah, always carry a canteen. But, well, let's just get to the discussion. I hope you guys, like, I don't know if you guys have Twitter, that what's been going on this entire weekend. It's not just, you know, the famous streamer, called Sam Rage, but apparently he's not the only one who has been a predator. Like, you've seen a lot of stories especially with so many female streamers, including Wolf well, Queen, you know, which is amazing. And even I did confess of manipulation. Which, of course, yes, there has been a lot going on. I don't think it's a good idea for me to have the mask on. And you still got the beauty. It's kind of rough. A whole weekend has been really rough past couple of days so many female streamers had to had to come up up front not only because of you know Lono being a predator but it's also what's, what's the word house BSK you know it's it's actually really disgusting for how this was as you know being sexual predators and such having a user to their advantage even trading nudes on discord servers I just gotta say, that is fucked up just for having shit like that uh, being mentioned. And it's just not right. I don't know, if you're if you're still following them and all that, like, Luminosity, I don't know, Ambu, Trapu Trap, Trap, even Mudaro, which, you know, I was a big fan of Mudaro in the past, but just having to hear that, that is fucked up. This... It's just rough. It was not only for them having to be sexual predators, but also having to manipulate people. And especially how it is I discussed last night after, you know, Nathan Insane had even shared his stories of what bad relationships and being manipulated is like. Even it made me have to go and share some of my stories, you know, of when I've been manipulated in the past. Which, of course, it is the opposite sex. And even I discuss that even I was, you know, I've lost a lot of trust, and it's hard to hold the trust, but it wasn't the case. Like, the whole entire, I'm sorry, it was just a few people that's going up yelling for this kid, but that's just not the case. But, it's just rough how it is. It's mentally draining as this whole weekend has been, the past weekend. And, I don't know, it's just crazy enough to know that all that's been going on from BSK and even Lono, who else has done this type of shit? It's not right. It's just fucked up of how it all goes for it. I just had to you know, keep up because, you know, parents are looking after their kids. But even, you know, how are people just gonna live like that? How do they still live with it? I'm just gonna have to hopefully, as Twitch goes, not only they lose their partnership, but perma banned from Twitch. My best prediction, it's not just them gonna lose their partnership, they would possibly, I don't know, just perma-ban from Twitch entirely. Just have it to manipulate. And even such, more of the story of all. Manipulation is not never the answer. It is never the answer. I've manipulated people before and I regretted it. I regretted it, I was young and stupid, even many years past. And even, you know, I was, backstabbed recently months past throughout the beginning of this year sometime last year but i'm not going to mention names because i don't want to bring out any more hate just again as a youtube con content creator i would never manipulate people i would never ask for subs you shouldn't do that it's unprofessional it's unprofessional to manipulate people it's unprofessional to manipulate your viewers your subscribers you know, your friends and all that. Manipulation is never the way. It's not the way. Manipulation is wrong. It's not human. It's it's just not right. You 
when you're being a content creator, when you're being a friend, manipulation is not the way. Forget that word. Just trash it. If you're friends with who are manipulating you, just leave. Manipulation's not right. And even for me to tell to others, it, it needs to stop. Just shit like that, it's just not right. Even I was a victim from being manipulated, it's just not right. And, yeah, all I have to say is, yeah, know your gut feeling. Know your gut feeling. Um, double check who you're following. Even Twitch had to go ahead and, and let a lot of ground rules. Like, if there's, like, accusation of racism and sexual harassment, there, there will be consequences, which is a good thing. And hopefully Mixer gets on that because, you know, again, manipulation, it's just not good. Even from this community of this YouTube channel, there's, I have zero tolerance for racism, sexism. Like I always say, I will always stand with Black Lives Matter because it's the right thing to do. And again, if you're with All Lives Matter, fuck you. Because Black Lives Matter and sexual harassing women like that, even if you're a female and you're sexual harassing a male, you can't be doing that. It's not human. It's not respectful. We're more than just that. We're better off being human beings to not use manipulation and sexism and racism. There's just zero tolerance where I'm at. Even I will up my rules. If I catch anyone trying to do so or demanding, it's just a perch. Pure, 100% perch. Because I don't take that shit lightly. And yeah, again, if you're a content creator, if you're an upcoming YouTuber, don't manipulate others. Don't manipulate your friends. Do not manipulate your subscribers. Never manipulate your viewers. It's not right. And yeah, I'm gonna go on my way. And yes, I'm gonna, I'm keeping hydrated. Yeah. Looks like it might rain later tonight, but hopefully I get home before then. It's a hour and a half walk from where I'm at to my apartment. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, stay clean, and love each other, respect one another. Those are the most important rules. Because regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of gender, regardless of anything, whether they're different or not, do not be a homophobe, do not be a sexist, do not be a racist. Must respect one another. It's not hard only to respect one another. It's not hard. It's easy to be an asshole, but it's much more easier to be a nicer person. Again, manipulation's never the way. Alright. I'll see you guys later. Bye.